Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I'm Yi Hu from Napa. First of all, there's a good news for you. It is Friday afternoon. Let me start my presentation. Today, my topic is from shipyard to sea, unlock the value of the 3D models. Uh, first of all, let me uh, briefly introduce my company. Napa is a software company we provide world-leading design software and uh, services, data analysis for the marine time. We have been in the industry for over 30 years. We have 10 offices in the globe, and 95% of the ship tonnages are built by NAPA customers. We have about 200 employees. I want to highlight some significant figures related to NAPA. 30. NAPA is the only performance optimization partner who can draw over 30 years of experience in 3D whole form design and big data. NAPA has a very big database. We have over 55,000 ship performance models in our database, by far the largest. 28%. NAPA has done a joint study with North Power and Sumitomo it shows that 28% fuel consumption reduction can be achieved using North Power Rotor Cell together with NAPA Voyage Optimization. And the contribution from NAPA Voyage Optimization is 12%. 7.3% By using only NAPA Voyage Optimization, 7.3% fuel consumption reduction can be achieved. This is revealed in the joint study done by NAPA, Class NK, and Marubani. And the NAPA has three business entities, design solutions, which develop the softwares for the designers to do the basic design. It is actually the faculty of industry standard. As said, 95% of the ship tonnages are built by NAPA customers. Safety solutions is the software for the uh, operational safety like loading computer, e-log books, and the shipping solutions, which are the uh, software for operational efficiencies. And we have a special unit called Napa Studio, which offers the consultant services to the maritime stakeholders. Said so much about Napa, now we turn to the challenges faced by the in maritime industry. Let's first look at the journey of a ship. The journey of a ship starts from the shipyard. A ship has been built, is being built in the shipyard considering all the requirements from the ship owners and all the available technologies. And then it is handed over to the ship owner. The ship will face all the operational environment, uh, entails the uh, loading conditions, the weather conditions, uh, emissions, requirement, everything. After some years of operation, the ship may undergo maintenance or even technical improvement. And after many years, maybe 20 years, the ship reached the end of its life, it will be scrapped. And uh, this is a linear process nowadays, yeah. Along this process, various of digital twins has been created in whatever forms, uh, ship performance model or, digital, or 3D forms or whatever has been created. For example, the shipyard will create a 3D form for the basic design, but only then it will be discarded. And the, in the operation side, like voyage optimization, they will create a performance model only for the voyage optimization. And when you do the technical improvement, another digital twin would be created to assess, to evaluate the design changes. And because of this, NAPA, together with many stakeholders in the marine time, come to the idea of digital twin, digital twin project. And what is the uh, reason? Because NAPA design software has been widely used by the shipyard and designers. NAPA 3D models has been created but it is only used for the design purpose. So we believe that these 3D models had great potential to create value in the ship life cycle. But 
As I said, these models are not available for the ship operation. It is because the shipyard hesitated to provide this. But if we can guarantee them that the design information is protected, and by sharing this model, they can generate values, the shipyard may be willing to share the models. And this is Digital Twin Project. We, uh, together with key stakeholders like classifications, uh, shipping companies, as well as the shipyard, we um, come out this Digital Twin Project idea that the design models will be securely stored in the cloud and authorized the user can request the required information derived from this model, but all the design information will be secured. No design information will be leaked. By doing so, the shipyard can uh, get benefit from the 3D model, which traditionally is completely idle asset. Um, some user cases, if you have the digital twin, we can derive the ship performance model, can be used for voyage optimization, performance analysis, it can be used for uh, design evaluation, it can be used for, you know, even ROA uh, calculation for the rotor cells for all the energy saving devices. And here is, uh, you know, just some uh, list for some of these applications. And that's all. Thank you very much. If you are interested, anyone interested in Digital Twin Project, please approach NAPA. Thank you. Thank you.